So Allobone Guide ACL Revision Set is uh, constructed for easy um, one-stage revision ACL surgeries. This case has an enlarged tibial channel, so we do ACL revision in one stage with um, filling of the bone defect at the tibial site. Usually this is a two-step procedure with um, a long time interval between those. So this is a one-step procedure. This is we uh, try to find the old channel with this K-wire. Um, you see we, we try to find the old channel anatomically guided and you see as the K-wire is wiggling that we have found the old channel. So now stepwise drilling of the old channel. So the maximum size is given by the maximum defect of the tibial bone. In this case it was 40 millimeter uh, size so we will ream up in one millimeter steps up to 14 millimeter to remove all scler sclerotic bone which is present within the channel so that the uh, allograft bone dowel will find a healthy sponges bony uh, bed for good healing. This is uh, 40 millimeter. Aim is to not to enlarge the, the tunnel more than necessary. So now we clean the entrance of the bone channel to have an easy impaction of the graft. In this case, the tibial tunnel was too anterior. So by one stage revision, we need to do it more posterior. So here you see the bone dowel, which is soaked into saline to um, get it adequate for implantation. Then we, a little bit, we trim the bone so that it can easily be put into uh, the tibial channel without impaction at the front. This is impactor. This comes with the same sizes as the bone dowels. So we have it in millimeter steps for the best support at the base of the bone dowel. And then we can put the bone dowel inside up to the, um, uh, to the articular surface. And now we're reaming the new channel, as you see, a little bit more posterior. So it is maybe half of it is in the old um, old tunnel area. So this would be a classical indication for two-step revision. We do it now with this system. You can do it in one step. So now we shuttle the the sutures. For for graft passing, here you see the standard graft preparation. And now the graft is passed through the new anatomic hole into the knee 
and there's a press fit situation because we have filled up the channel not by spon spongy bone we did it with this bone dowels which are very sufficient for stable press fit fixation <laughs> 